ordered from H&R last week when it was warm. And of course, today, um, when my package was supposed to arrive, it was 30 degrees outside. And so I decided to work from home um, in order to bring my box in as soon as possible as it was supposed to arrive. It was supposed to arrive by 10, but FedEx didn't show up until after um, 12. And uh, I was in the throes of coding, so I did not um, notice that it had arrived. And my plants are a little cold, so we're about to find out with Pinto's help um, if they did all right. Pinto, nobody needs your butt in the way. Here, thank you. All right, so here we go. Um, they're still a little cold. There's no heat pack. Um, that's one of the reasons I chose to stay home and wait for them. And Pinto, does anyone, no one needs your help. And if you eat any of these, I'm going to beat you. Alrighty, let's adjust this. All right, so here we have first plant. Oh, it's kind of cold. Um, this is a Sophronitis cernua. I have killed three of these now, including the community pot of these that I got from um, H&R like last year or the year before. Um, they were just kind of too small. Um, I'm hoping that these are 4N cernuas and Pinto has just laid down in my wrapping. All right, uh, I'm gonna hang this up someplace where Pinto can't get it. Safety, there's a window right there where I have some phalaenopsis. Pinto, so, so many, so much not needing you right there. So this is a Brasso, Prosavola Alex Cox. I got a community pot of this. I did not successfully pot them up. So every single one of them got rot and died after I potted them up last summer. Um, they looked great coming out of the community pot, but I was totally unsuccessful. So I just got one. Um, this is the Dosa Cross 2 Encyclia Marie. So it should be very interesting. I am trying to keep this from Pinto's mouth. No, not for you. Don't look at me like that. No, you know what? Nobody needs, oh my God, you laid on a Cernua. <sighs> okay, so underneath Pinto's gigantic butt on this packaging, there is another Cernua. Um, are you okay, little plant? Did Pinto crush you? I hope not. He's kind of heavy. All right, so it's right here. I don't know if it's flat like this because it's already like that or if Pinto crushed it with his giant fat bulk. Pinto, you are so annoying. See, he's back down there. No, no, you can't eat this. It's not for you. Get away. I am hanging these up. You are off. All right, let's see what else do I have here. No, don't try to ask for pets. Nobody wants, nobody wants to pet. No, I don't want to pet you. Don't bite my face. Right here is a dendrobium. 
So this is an Aberrant. I have now killed three Aberrants. Um, I can grow them. What I tend to do because I am um, Pinto, why did you just swap me? Um, is I tend to uh, not water them enough. So uh, hopefully this will be okay. Um, so they survive for a few years and then there's like a drought. And I also don't tend to keep them warm enough. So let me... There, looks pretty good. I don't need your approval for this Pinto. Hopefully that little pot won't tip over back there. Here, I'll show everybody what I'm doing. And they're right there. And I just got bitten in the face by Pinto. <sighs> At least he's left now because I shouted. Here I have, this is Golden Glory. They also made, remade Hidden Gold, but all the Hidden Golds were sold out. So Golden Glory is Richard Mueller crossed to um, Lelia Tenebrosa. I bought a community pot of it. Um, hoping for some different coloration, we'll see. They're, all these plants are really cold and um, my face hurts now. Okay, so then this year, a lot of these things are in hanging baskets. Um, this is the Norman Bayens. So I thought Norman Bayens was supposed to be bigger than a Barents, but oh, look. It's got a flower on it. So Norman by Ents is like a really small version of Atroviolacea. And I am gonna probably take all of these upstairs as soon as I can. But I didn't want them to get warm too fast in case stuff had gotten a little too cold and have it all explode. This is Dendrobium Little Atro, which is, I believe, um, Atroviolacea crossed to I don't know, this one says it's a little atro cross to, to um, two versions of it. It's big tetra cross to spots. I think originally it's atroviolacea cross to a barrens, but I'm not sure. All right, and I now have perlite all over this table. All right, I got a whole bunch of community pots. I actually really quite like active violation. I am going to try really, really hard um, to keep them alive by watering them more and keeping them warmer. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna just try this hybrid out. Oh, this does not look good. I don't know. This is really cold. Um, so this is 
Leporium cross the Stratioides. And um, the leaves on it just have that sort of wet look, like things might have exploded. We'll have to wait and see. They're not soft, but maybe that's just the coloration. We'll have to, we'll have to wait a few days and find out. And then, this is a really big mountain. This I'll probably need to take off the mount. right here is Bracteosum. And that's everything. Uh, God, they're all really cold. I can feel the cold coming off the wood here. So hopefully they'll make it. And wish me luck.